So today I'm doing final examples on questions to do with the bodies moving in the same direction. I love two examples, so I hope they will help. So the first example here is, uh, as it reads, a truck traveling at a speed of 70 kilometers per hour left a station at 9 a.m. 30 a.m. A bus left the same station 45 minutes later. If the bus caught up with the the truck at 11 a.m. Find the speed of the bus. So something strange about this question is, uh, unlike all the examples I've been showing, in this case, you don't have the speed of one of the bodies, but you have the time that they met. So in such a case, when you get such a question, how do you approach it? So I'll show you the working using two examples. So the first example is, uh, first I want to calculate the distance covered by the truck just before the car took off you should be familiar with that because that simply means i'm trying to get the distance which i always call the relative distance because relative distance we say that is the distance between any two bodies uh, when they are all moving for the first time so distance covered by the truck before the car took off it took off at uh, nine then 45 minutes later so we know that distance is always speed times time and the speed of the truck was 70 the time it traveled before the the bus took off is 45 minutes so i'll change 45 minutes into hours which gives me 45 over 60 so if i multiply this i'll get 52.5 kilometers 52.5 kilometers is the distance between the bus and the truck after 45 minutes. Remember, the truck left at 9, 9.30 a.m. So it means after 45 minutes, the exact time should be 10.15. 10.15. And the distance between the two bodies will be 52.5. So this 52.5 is the relative distance. We know that from the previous examples. Then, relative speed for any two bodies moving in the same direction is always given by subtracting the speeds. higher speed. So since we don't know the speed of the bus, we say let it be x. So the relative speed will be x, which is the speed of the bus, minus 70, which is the speed of the truck. So we have the relative distance, we also have the relative speed. Uh, time taken by the bus to catch up with the, the truck will be, they caught up at 11. The bus left the station at 10.15, as I've explained there. So the time that it takes to catch up with the, the truck at 11 should be 11 minus 10.15 which is the same as 45 minutes 45 minutes in hours is the same as 3 over 4 hours okay so up to this point we have everything I had explained earlier things that we need when solving uh, uh, questions to do with relative speed I have relative distance I have relative speed with a known in it then I have time taken for the two bodies to catch up so <coughs> time always equals to relative distance over relative speed back to the question we have the time taken for the two bodies to catch up which is the same as three over four hours then the relative distance i calculated it is 52.5 kilometers and the relative speed is x minus 70. so when you compare this then multiply the unknown is x then obviously what you're looking for is the value of x so it will be cross multiply then solve you'll find that uh, the value of x in that case will be 140 kilometers per hour the second method second method for the same same question is based on <laughs> we want to compare two things here that are common from the station 
to the point where the two bodies met, we find that uh, both the bodies cover the same distance. So what I simply want to do is uh, calculate the distance covered by the track from the start to the meeting point, to the point where the bus overtook it, and again calculate the distance the bus covered in the same case. But remember, we don't have the speed of the bus. So I'll start by saying, let the speed of the bus be x. So to calculate the total distance covered by the bus to the meeting point, it will always distance in speed times time. It will never change. The speed of the bus, as I've said here, it's x. It moved from 11, 15, I mean, sorry, 10, 15 to 11. So total time it took in the, uh, to cover the distance was subtract the time it overtook the track minus the time it left, which is 45 minutes. So it means the distance the bus covered is its speed times the time it took, which is the same as 0.75x. Remember, the distance is in terms of x because we don't know the value of x. Next, total distance covered by the track to the meeting point. Again, distance equals to speed times time. The speed of the track was 70 kilometers per hour. The time it took, it left the station at 9.30. Then it was overtaken at 11. So if you subtract this, you get one hour, 30 minutes. So now, you'll say 70 times 1.5, which equals to 105 kilometers. So once you get this distance and this distance, notice that station is the same place, meeting point or the time, the point where the bus overtook the track is the same point. So it means in both cases, this distance equals to this. And that's why I say that distance covered by the bus is just the same as distance covered by the track that is from the station to the point the bus overtook which is equals to this distance equals to this so if you simplify this solve you'll still get the answer of uh, the speed of the bus same as 140 kilometers per hour so the last example for uh, this topic or the subtopic to do with the bodies moving in the same direction, I talked about in some cases whereby unapata wanaonga about bodies that are very close to each other. If bodies are close to each other, you use their exact distances. Remember that from the approaching bodies. So it's the same same thing here. In this question, it reads, after how long will, after how long will it take a car about 6 meters long, moving at 15 meters per second, to completely overtake a truck about 70 meters long, moving at 6 meters per second? So, I already showed the example in approaching bodies. So, in this case, you require the exact distances, exact distance in this case, in that case, and their speeds. And something else, if the distance is in meters, the speed has to be in meters per second in both cases. So, time is always relative distance over relative speed. Relative distance in this case we already said is the distance, total distance between the two bodies, which is 6 plus 30, which is 36. Relative speed is you subtract the respective speeds because they are moving in the same direction, which is the same as 9. So if you work out this, you'll get 4 seconds. In the other case, I said, if these distances were in kilometers per hour, then first subtract them to get the relative distance. Then 
now change the answer you get into meters per second then proceed with the working so when you may look at this example i think nime mariza to explain the basic things you require about relative speed the next video i talk about relative speed but the questions that you will find sometimes in uh, exams but the approach does not really require relative speed to to do them so when that time comes i'll explain giving reasons why thank you